and the battle lost and won. There will be air, the set of sun, where the place upon the east. That will we will meet Macbeth. I call Grey Malcolm, head at top, alone, fair is foul, foul is fair. Hover through the fog and fill the air. Where hast thou been? Give me Kodai. A rock from which the rock that Rayon cried. Her husband. And the very ports they flow, all the quarters that they know. <laughs> Look what I have. Show me, show me. I call it song. Rex is homeward, he did come. A drum, a drum, Macbeth did come. Well, a fair there, I had not uh, seen. How far is it? Up forth. What are these withering so wild in their tides that they look not like the inhabitants of the earth, but at once they lay their skinny finger upon their shiny lips? You should be women, and yet your beards forbid me to interpret the use so. Speak if you can, what are you? All oh, hell, Macbeth. Hell to thee, Thane of Long. All oh, hell, Macbeth. Hell to thee, Thane of Carter. All oh, hell, Macbeth. Hell to thee. Thou shalt be king hereafter. Good sir, why do you start and seem to fear things that do sound so fair in the name of truth? Hell! 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 Lesser did my best and greater? Not for him, but for him. Day, you imperfect speakers. Tell me more. By sensual death, I know I'm thane of Rom, but how of Cordor, the thane of Cordor lives. As the water has, and these are of them. Whether are they vanished? There, and what seemed purple, melted as breath into the wind. What if they stayed? Were such things here as we do speak about? Or have we eaten of the insane root that takes the reason prisoner? <laughs> Your children shall be king. You shall be king. And Thane of Cordo too. Then shall be king. Then take me without my stir. Worthy Macbeth, you shall be king. Remember what thou hast chanced.
my dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And we go to him? Tomorrow, as he purposes, we will. What shall bear the guilt of our great quail? Bring forth men children only. For thou and Dr. Mel should compose nothing but of males. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood the two of his own sleepy chamber and use their very daggers that they have done it? Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor upon roar upon his death? I am settled. And bend up each corporal agents to this terrible feat. Away and mock the time with fair show. False face must hide with Bob Martin there. Mm -hmm. How goes the night, Lord? You is down. I have not heard the clock. Okay, she goes down at 12. I'll take it to the slave, sir. Hold. Take my sword. There's a in heaven. And all the candles are out. A heavy sum is lies upon me like lead. And yet, I would not sleep. Merciful powers restrain me, and the cursed thoughts that nature gives way to repose. Give me my sword. Who's there? Oh, a friend. What, sir? Not yet at rest? The king's bed has been an unusual pleasure, and yet set forth the great artist to your officers. This diamond creature watched with them by the name of the most kind hostess and shut up in the measureless content. Being unprepared, I will became the servant to defect. We should have free as wise. Oh, well, I dreamt last night of three weird sisters. To you, they have shown some truth. I have things I've done much yet. But, when the time is draw, we will serve some words upon the business. At your kindest leisure. <laughs> Get thee to bed. When my drink is ready, she strike upon the bill. Which now I draw. 
not watch this to me the way that I was going. And such an instrument I was to use. My eyes are made to fool over the other senses. Or else went all the rest. Alack, I am afraid they had awakened and is not done. The attempt and not the deed confounds us. Hark, I laid their daggers ready. He could not miss them. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. and adjust them again to sleep. They are two lodged together. One cried, God bless us, and amen. The other has had to me with these hangman's hands, listening to their fear. I could not say amen when they did say, God bless. Consider it not so deeply. But where would I not pronounce again? I most I need a blessing and amen to my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways. So it will make us mad. We thought I heard a voice cry sleep. No more Macbeth does murder sleep. <laughs> the innocent sleep. Who was it that thus cried? Why, worthy thing, you did unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly. Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them and, and smear the sleepy grooms with the blood. Which was I knocking? How's with me? When any noise appalls me, these hands, ah, they broke out my eyes. With all great Neptune's oceans, wash his blood clean from my hands. Hands are of your color, but I'm ashamed to wear our hearts so light. South entry. Chamber. A little water clears us of this deed. <laughs> Chamber. 
should be the root and father of many kings. That we spoke together? You made it known to us. I did so. Which is now our point of second meeting. Do you find it in your predominant nature that you can let us go? We are murderers, my liege. Hey, and in the catalog, you go for murderers. I am one, my liege. When the vaults blow and the buffer of the world has no instant that I am reckless what I might do to the world, against my nearest of life. And though I could, with my bare-faced power, sweep him from my sight. We shall, my lord, perform what you demand of. Through our lives? Your spirit shine through you, within this hour at most. We so are invoked, my lord. Go straight a bit, a bit. But who did these things John with us? Macbeth. He did not our mistrust. He did not our officer and what we must do to direct the jail. Then stand with us. Hark, I hear horses. Give us the light there, folks. <laughs> then tis he. His horses go about. Almost a mile, so he usually does, but all men do. From the hence to the palace today, make it their walk. A light, a light. Tis he. Stand to it. It will be rain tonight. But let it come down. Why, have not had it? Have I not the gangling? Have I not reasoned, Beldams as you are, saucy and ever bold? How do you dare train traffic with the bath and riddles and affairs of death? And I, the mistress of your charms, shall draw him on to his confusion. And you all know security is mortal's chiefest enemy. Hark, I am called. My little spirit, see, sits in the cloud days for me. Come, bless me, haste. She'll soon be back again. Thrice the Brenda Cat had mewed. Thrice the Hindi Kwan. Harpy your crying, to sign, to sign. Scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, which is mummy, mauling gulf, of the raven, salty shark, root of him like digging in the dark. Double, double. Fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. Put it with a baby in blood, and charm it firm and good. Oh, well done, I commend your pains, and every one shall I share the gains. And now about the cauldron sing, like elves and fairies in a ring. By the pricking of my thumb, something good in this way comes. Open lock, whoever knows. How now, you black secret midnight hags. I conjure you. Speak. Answer me. Speak. Give me a We'll answer. Say, thou hast... That a hit from our mouth or from our master? Call them. Let me see them. Come high. Or low. They fell and off is definitely show. Tell me the unknown power. He knows his thought. He now speaks, but say thou not. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Beware, Macduff. Beware, Thane of Fife. Dismiss me enough. What if thou art? For thy good caution, thanks. Thou hast heart, my fear, all right. But one word more. He will not be commanded. Here's another, more potent than the first. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Had I three years, I'd hear thee. Be bloody bold and resolute. Laugh to scorn the power of man, for none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Then live, Macduff, what need I fear thee? Yet I'll make assurance, double sure, and take a bond of faith that shall not live. That I may tell pale-hearted spirit lies and sleep in spite of thunder. What is this? 
that rises like the issue of a king and wears upon his baby brown the more top of sovereignty. Listen, but speak not to it. The lion melted, proud, and take no care who shafts, who frets, or where conspires are. Macbeth shall never vanquish be until great Burnham Woods to hide Dunshire Hill shall come against him. Show. 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 I will be satisfied to deny me this. When the internal calls fall on you, let me know what sinks that cauldron and tell me more what I do. The castle of Macduff. I will curse, seize upon fight. Give me the old of the sword, his wife, his babes, and his unfortunate souls that trace him on to this life, a boosting like a fool. This I do, nigh before the purpleness cool, that no more sights were out thou. Gentlemen, come, bring me where they are. Show his eyes and grief apart. Come like shadows, so do you. She rubs her hand. It is in a custom action with her to see thus washing her hand. I have known her continue in a quarter of an hour. Yet here's spot. Her, she speaks. I will set down what she comes from her to satisfy rem my remembrance the more strongly. I say one, two, why didn't it's time to do it? Hell is murky. Fie, my lord, fie. Soldier and a fear? What need we fear? Who knows it? When none can call the power to account. Yet who would have thought the old man to have so much blood in him? The thane of wife did have a wife. Where is she now? What, will these hands ne'er come clean? No more, my lord, no more. Go to, go to. You have known what you should not. I spoke what she had should not. I'm sure of that. Heaven knows what she has known. Here's the smell of blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia could not sweeten this little hand. Her heart is sorely charged. I would not have such a heart in my bosom for the dignity of the whole body. Well, well, well. Pray God it be, sir. Disease is beyond my practice. You have known those which have walked in their sleep, who have died at holily in their beds. Wash your hands. Put on your nightgown. Look not so pale. I told you yet again, Banquo is buried. He cannot come out of one's grave. There's a knocking at the gate. Come. Give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. To bed. To bed. To bed. Now go to bed. such a word tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps 
exists in this petty pace from day to day. To less syllables I call it. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out to brief again. Life's but a walking shadow. Poor play that struts and presses out upon stage and then is heard no more. Is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Thou come and seize thy tongue, thy story quickly. Gracious, my lord, I should be quoted to say itself, and I know not how to do it. Well, say, sir. As I stood by watch upon the hill, I looked toward Vernon and Anna. Methought you would begin to move. Louder, slave! You're doing it to your wrath, sir. If it be not so, within this three miles, that you see it coming. A moving grove. a large expense of time before we reckon with your several loves and make us even with you my thanes and kinsmen henceforth be earls the first that ever scott in such honor named we will perform and measure time and place so thanks to all at once and to each one whom we invite to see us crowned at scone <laughs> 